Hello everyone. In this session, we'll discuss shift micro operation. Shift micro operations are used for serial transfer of data into the registers. Now, they are also used in conjunction with arithmetic and logical operations, which we discussed earlier, like combining arithmetic operation with logical operations and performing some shift operations will get some desired outputs. Okay, so what happens is the content of register can be shifted to the left or right, depending on our choice. Okay, now the first flip flop will receive the serial input. What we provide the first flip flop either onto the MSB side or onto the LSB side, whatever we provide. The information th transferred through the serial input determines the type of the shift. Okay, so question arise what are the types of shift available with us? Let's see one by one. Types of shift the first is logical shift. Logical shift will transfer zero through the serial input. Okay. How? Let us see the first type of shift, logical shift that is shift logical shift left. Suppose consider register R1 contains 1101. So logical shift left will perform the shifting of bits to the left side by position 1. Okay. So we are having let us say this bit 1 is shifted to the left side, bit 0 shifted to the left, left side bit 1 shifted to the left side. Now the question arises for these two positions. What about this MSB1 and what about this LSB position? This MSB position would be discarded. So this one would be discarded and through as per the definition of logical shift 0 would be transferred through serial input over here. So over here it would be 0. So this is logical shift left. And similarly we are having logical shift right. Okay, so a bit by bit would be shifting to the right position by one. Okay, so this one would be shifted to the right side in this way. But now question arise for this LSB one, it would be discarded. And what about this MSB in the output? As per the definition, serial input will give zero over here. So this is logical shift right. A slight variation to this logical shift right instead of providing 0 to it as a serial input we are having second type of shift that is a circular shift which performs the rotation operation. So as it is rotating the information no new information is added and no information loss will occur. So the output of the shift register is connected to the serial input. So Let's see the example circular shift left register R1 contains 1101 we want to perform circular shift left so the bits would be shifted to the left side so 101 one. now circular so this MSB bit would be circulated to the LSB over here. So this is circular shift left similarly we are having circular shift right. So the bits would be shifted to the right side, okay. But circulate means the LSB over here would be circulated to the MSB in the output. So this is circular shift. And the third type of shift what we are having is arithmetic shift. Now arithmetic shift is performed onto the signed binary numbers means positive or negative information. Again, it can be shifted to the left or right, whatever we choose. Okay, but if we perform shift left, arithmetic shift left operation, then it is the multiplication of signed number by 2. And if we perform it to the right, that means arithmetic shift right, then it will divide the number by 2. Okay, how? Let's see. Arithmetic shift left. So it is shift left operation only logical shift left only so bits would be transferred to the left side but as you can see we are having the it is it can be performed on signed binary numbers though msb signifies the sign so one means negative number okay so it is normal our logical shift operation logical shift left as we had seen earlier so the question arises: what about this lsb so this lsb would be zero so no issue with this but the actual question arise is in arithmetic shift right okay 
shift right sign bit so let us perform shift right first so shift right zero shifted to right side one shifted to right side this one shifted to the right side but the question arise what about msb over here as it is arithmetic shift right the content of msb would be copied directly to the msb itself there won't be change in that because it is shift right operation so there is what is the difference between shift right and shift left shift left is our normal logical shift left but in arithmetic shift right we need to check for the msb msb should not change because it is a sign so sign should not change so these are the types of shift now let's see the hardware implementation of this particular shifter op circuit we need four mux as you can see four mux we are requiring they are of size 2 cross 1 so 2 cross 1 means we require one select line only so select lines will decide which operation we are going to perform if it is 0 then we are going to perform shift right right if it is 1 we are going to perform shift left okay so before moving further let us see the output we are saying h0 h1 h2 h3 but before giving this input let us see the truth table for this function table so if i say input select line is zero that means we are going to perform shift right so the bits are transferred onto the shift right so serial input would be ir a0 shifted a1 shifted to the right side a2 shifted to the right side but if i say select line is one then we are going to perform shift left operation so in that case a0 is discarded a1 a2 a3 and il which is our serial input from the left side if we provide IR to be 0, then it is our normal logical shift right. And if we provide IL to be 0, then it is our normal logical shift left. But, but if you want to make it circular shift, then over here at the input of this shift, uh, shift input, we need to provide the output of the shift register. Okay, so let's see one by one. So we are connecting as you can see IR is connected to the zeroth line because we want to perform shift right so IR is connected at the zeroth line. So A0 to be connected to the second mux zero line A1 to be connected to two places as you can see from the table for H2 we require A1 over here into the zeroth line and A1 is also connected to the H0 so over here into the first line so you can see this A1 is connected to the first line of the first mux and it is connected to the zeroth line of the third mux so we are having A1 over here at the zeroth line and we require A2 at H3 line so we require zeroth line to be A2 and A2 is also there at H1. So at the first input we are having A2 over here. So A2 is connected in this way. And the last A3 which is there only for A H2 line output. So when one it when select line is 1, A3 is connected to H2. So like this. And the last one left out is A I L. So I L is connected to the first line of fourth mux. So this is what is the circuit implementation. Now let's see an example. We want to perform the uh, logical shift right onto 1101. Logical shift right. So 0 but natural select line we need to select to be 0 for shift right operation which we had done. Okay. Now the shift right operation so over here the first bit would be 0 as yes, from this you can see from the function table so now h1 would be a0 so a0 is 1 it goes to h1 now h2 is a1 so a1 would be at this position and h3 is a2 so over here h3 is a2 so this 0 would be transferred over here and a3 is to be discarded so 1 is discarded a3 is discarded so basically we had performed logical shift right 1101 one, so 110 one, and the most significant bit would be 0 so this is how the circuit works